There was big news out of Portland yesterday. No, oh, this is such a great neighborhood. I've been been living here for years, but um, the whole the, the whole city is just this whole area is just insane. As the sun came up Thursday morning, it revealed the damage left behind along southeast Hawthorne overnight. So as I'm driving <clears throat> down Hawthorne today, I saw. I don't know how far it goes, but um, pretty much every building on the south side of Hawthorne has um, graffiti that I probably can't say. <laughs> Redneckonomics has no problem with vandalism. She promotes the use of graffiti as protest. Redneckonomics and Manitoc exactly fit the profile of COINTELPRO informants. Here are some ways that we can just mess things up for them. Boycott, strike, divest, uh, protest, march, vote to a certain degree, um, civil disobedience, graffiti. Is anyone else out there noticing the excessive appearance of tardive dyskinesia across the board in so many people? So yeah, on the one hand, I feel very badly for people with mental illness or misdiagnoses, which led to basically tardive dyskinesia. Maybe those drugs helped a percentage of people who would have committed suicide. But myself personally, if I had bipolar anxiety, I do have anxiety. But if I had bipolar, borderline personality, if I had... um events, if this wasn't simply a matter of a different brain wiring in Asperger's, I could be encouraged to take those drugs which create tardive, tardive, tardive dyskinesia. Again, I feel very badly for the victims who now have that. I do not feel that badly for cocaine users or whatever other illicit drugs that shouldn't be taken. Cocaine is clearly, perhaps, the most dangerous drug of them all. I've known that my whole life. Stay away from cocaine. The high doesn't last long, and it costs a fortune. Even if it was dirt cheap, it wouldn't be worth it. Pot is legal. One can smoke pot and get a buzz if they want that type of escape. That other stuff is a mistake. Look at what happened to Judy Garland. So anyway, I've digressed into the tardive dyskinesia subject. That's basically uh, called perseveration. I get stuck in ideas or I focus. Maybe it's a chicken or the egg. Which came first? Am I stuck in the subjects because I have Asperger's? Or what's the other option? I don't know what the other option is. That, well, it would be I'm just so fascinated by stuff that I spend all days on it into weeks and months, whether it's research and Brett Kimberlin like I did years ago or any of those other topics I got into. With stamps, I can basically spend all day working on them and not get bored. I'm out of the loop, yet I'm aware of the loop. I'm mortal. I'm aware of my mortality. So it's like, whoop de do now what? In regards to having Asperger's. And that's the way it is for November 27th, 2020. Take care. Thanks for your time and consideration. And uh, bye-bye.